Hi there! In this video we're going to learn how to sketch linear functions using the dual intercept method. Dual intercept means that there are x-intercepts and y-intercepts to work out and plot and then we will join them with a straight line. So, in terms of where we are in the lesson, we've learned a whole bunch about Cartesian planes, but we've still got quite a lot to learn, so let's get started. In terms of the theory, to sketch a linear function or a straight line graph, you must have at least two coordinate pairs. Okay, and sometimes some coordinate pairs are better to work with than others. So we're going to choose the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So how do we work out an x-intercept and y-intercept? Well, to work out the x-intercept, you set y equal to 0 and you solve for x in an equation given. And then to work out the y-intercept, you set x equal to 0 and you solve for y. So we are doing mini equation solving to work out the intercepts to draw the graph. So let's have a look at an example. Suppose we want to sketch the graph of y equals 3x minus 6 using the dual intercept method. Our first step would be to work out the x-intercept. And to do that, we set y equal to 0. So we are going to take 0 and substitute it into the equation of the graph. Let's do that. 0 equals 3x minus 6. And now, mission, solve for x. So we have to undo. Remember, if you have 3 times x minus 6, the minus 6 was the last thing that was done to the x, so we're going to start by undoing that. Or, we could take the 3x to the other side, because many people like to have x's on the left-hand side, numbers on the right. Regardless, you've done solving equations, or you can watch a video to catch that up in your memory. So, minus 3x equals minus 6, divide both sides by minus 3, or by just the minus sign first if you prefer, 3x equals 6, and x equals 2. Now we need to make that into a coordinate. x first, y second. So the coordinates of the x-intercepts is going to be the point 2, 0. We store that in our memory and we move on to work out the y-intercept, our second step. To work out the y-intercept, we set x equal to 0, 0 into the x. So substitution and solving. The y value is quite easy to work out. And some people already can see that it is just the number on the end because every time you make x equal to 0, this whole term is 0. And so most people can see the y-intercept quite easily. So y equals minus 6. And let's make that coordinate. The coordinates of the y-intercept, x first, y second. So now we've got our two coordinates. We know our x-intercept, we know our y-intercept. We're going to plot these on a coordinates these two coordinates, sorry, on a Cartesian plane, and then we're going to join them. So let's draw our Cartesian plane. Remember, we have a horizontal x-axis and a vertical y-axis. Plot your first point on the x-axis at 2, and your second point on the y-axis at negative 6, and join your points. We like to write the equation on the graph sometimes, so you need to find out if that's what your teacher wants. Alright, so I've got questions for you to try. Sketch the graph of y equals minus 2x plus 2 using the dual intercept method. Do you know what your first step is? Do you know what your second step is? Rewind and watch the video again in need. And your third step? Right, and hopefully you are ready for the answer. Pause if you're not and work it out. Here is my solution. Hopefully your working looks the same as mine. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and you can now sketch using the dual intercept method. 